Okay guys, Alex Train Spoiler HD and welcome back to another new video. I'm at Marsh Barton again for another video. It's gonna be a bit of a different video as you can see. I'm gonna be doing a tour video. I'm gonna start here. Um, as you can see, we've got the, uh, we got the good old uh, stand tall sign there. Looking uh, rather, uh, rather nice. So I'm gonna show its uh, facilities here at the station at Marsh Bar and I'm going to start this side of the platform and then I'll go across the bridge which is up there and uh, show the other side and that as well. It's going to be quite windy at the moment so if you don't hear me during this video apologies for the platform guys. As you can see here's the entrance to uh, this side platform 2. I'll uh, before we go on the platform, I'll show you this little part here. We got the uh, got the bike uh, spaces here on this side. I think you can fit more bikes this side than the other side, but I'll show you the uh, the, um, the cycle spaces the other side a little bit later on. Here we got the information this side. This is your basic uh, Great Western Railway uh, information. Then you got the uh, Good old, uh, you know, fair thing. If a train runs a certain amount of minutes late, um, you can get compensation and get some of your uh, cost of your ticket back. So, for example, if it's 120 minutes late, you can actually get all of your money back from your ticket. So, that's obviously quite good. Here, you got a penalty fare for £100 if you don't buy a ticket. I always buy a ticket, of course. I don't want to get fined. Um, and here's the uh, information. You can see uh, it's now open. Marsh Barton welcomes you. Um, just got a little map there of all the stations nearby. And they've got the Riviera Line. Um, and as you can see, there's uh, Marsh Barton in between St. Thomas and Starcross. And you got Dordish Warren, Dordish Timmer, and obviously Newton Abbott and, and so on and so on and you got the uh, and you get the Marsh Barton and St David's there and you've got the old uh, showing the old county line the uh, Barnstall line there's a the train lock going by 800 309 so yeah let's show you all the uh, basic routes there Hopecampton, Barnstall, Taunton, Axminster you've got the Exmouth line as well so that's that more information here here's the buses you can get near the station just basically the b or the green bus basically really um you can walk further down into alfonton and get the alfonton bus if you want to to go up into town and get that one bus as well but i think there's a bus stop just outside here so uh yeah and here's the uh yeah welcome to marsh barton your basic information it shows now my thing is <laughs> actually built this station with no toilets. Do they need toilets here? I'm not sure. But uh, you know if you need a toilet here yeah, gotta be a, a little bit uh buggered shall we say. But, uh, there's the overall uh, information about the uh thing. And here's the timetables from 21st of May to 10th of September 2023. It's an hourly service here um, from Payton uh, to Exeter and from Exeter to Payton. Uh, I think it's the same on a Sunday as well. So you got your Monday to Friday. You got your Saturdays. And then you got your Sundays. But uh, it's a reasonably good service here at Marsh Barton, to say the least. So, uh, yeah. And here's the screen. The good old. Uh, LED screen. Probably can't see it that well because it doesn't. It kind of flashes quite a lot when I show it there. The fast train now approaching platform two. We've got another Have train going here. by then. Stand what have we got going by? Edge and hold on to push chairs and wheelchairs. Might as well get this on the camera and continue the tour video. Uh, 
that was what 66 209 nice uh, little tiny about the driver thank you for that that must be a Cirrus 2x one that doesn't stop here so like i said not all uh not all trains stop here you gotta be wary of that uh, guys uh here's a big old marsh part in the thing gateway to the riverside valley part nice big sign there um and yeah, so like I said guys, this is uh, platform two uh, for trains going to Extra St. Davis and Exmouth. Uh, here's the other one, um, basic help point there. Here's a, uh, here's a big old shelter, quite a nice long shelter. Um, here's your ticket machine. Um, what we got here is a salt thing, but they're ready for the winter months there, there's a salt thing there, here's a, there's a car thing if that people want to buy, if you want to buy a ticket electronically I think, I think it's how it works out. Um, got more information on the actual platform as well, just showed you that outside, so yeah, there it is. But, uh, let's take a walk down the platform this side, shall we? Here's a bit. You've seen that before. <laughs> uh, here's some seat in this side. There's some seat in there. There's quite a lot of seat on each side on each platform. So you'd have to worry about uh, seats. There's plenty of seats on each side of the platform. There's another one there. Um, there's the platform two there, not the two side there. Um, here's some more seating down here. Obviously, just give me the heads up. Here's the incinerator, the big incinerator here. Um, now, obviously, that's the place where they you burn all the rubbish and all the smelly rubbish. So you, Unfortunately, you will get a bit of a whiff of a smell here at Marsh Barn at times, basically because they're dealing with all the rubbish and that. But you know, you kind of get used to that uh, that smell anyway. So uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, let's go to the end here. This is the furthest you can go, and they do have a gate here. I don't know if they will ever use it. In fact, I don't think they need to really because uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I'm not sure what this. Uh, I'm not sure what this uh, ramp thing will be used for. I mean, I just went onto platform. This platform very easy. There's no steps. You just walk on onto it. So I just don't understand what they would use this uh, long ramp for. To be honest, I have no idea. Okay, have a strange one that. Okay, well apparently there's another train passing by. So well, we might as well get this on camera. It's a Voyager. I'm guessing going to Plymouth. Two twenty zero three one. Okay, so that's this side. Uh, what I'm going to do now then, guys, is um, I'm going to go and give you a little bit of a view on top of that uh, long green bridge. And obviously I'll work my way down, down that bridge, down the footpath, and onto the other side, show the other side. And that'll be it then, really, for Marsh Park, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, we'll come back shortly. Yeah, so I thought I'd come back to the video. I didn't actually show you this. Well, I did show you it from right from the arena of the platform down there. But, yeah, it's this... Uh, little uh ramp thing going down it this gate's open um but if you go right down to the other end that gate is actually closed so i, I kind of don't get that to be honest so i'm a bit puzzled on that maybe any people in the comments can let me know on this why that gate's open but the the gate right at the end is closed so uh yeah i don't know what they would use that for to be honest so uh yeah so this is the way you just get onto the station from here so uh yeah 
and obviously that this is the way out of the station as well on this side so uh yeah i i really don't get that to be honest it really does puzzle me so uh yeah i thought i'd show you that okay we'll be back shortly okay guys we're back in a video and uh just about to go up to the uh footbridge here this is the uh long footbridge going across the station uh we're just going over the station there's that little row side row where uh cars go by still got that old uh footbridge over there as you can clearly see but this is the new footbridge they installed there's the information it's 195 meters long good to know so yeah this uh, footbridge is it's quite nice it's quite tall but um if i give you a view from the top if i give you a view from the top I mean, yeah, the view's not that great. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a better view from here. Okay, let's go down here. We'll come back very shortly. Get, go, I'll go down to the end here and I'll come back. Okay then guys, well, we're back in the video. As you can see, uh, I'm down at the other end now. Uh, there's another big Marsh Barton sign there. If we zoom in there, there's one at the other end, this side. And you got a road going down there to go into the station, but you also got a, uh, a little uh, path going down here as well so I'm assuming well I'm assuming that it will obviously be for the cars passenger use this this uh, path here so we're on to the other side uh, I think the other side offers a bit more not much more just basically a road uh, there's the road going down uh, now Marsh Barton doesn't have uh, parking it only has a little bit of parking here, there's a car park there, but uh, I think you can only park here if you got a blue badge apparently. I don't know if that's something to do with the actual station or not, but uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's a little bit of parking there, three spaces there, that's about it. So GWR on two of them. Here's the usual information, like the other side offers more information here, it's basically the same timetables and that here <coughs> and there's the uh, screen thing this side as well and um, what have we got then we got a little path going down there now I'm not sure if this path will ever be again um, there's a ramp going up as you can see I think we can come past here yeah I think I'm all right to come past here briefly oh what do we have here we have a little uh, little area there I don't know if that's something to do with electronic panels there um, but yeah there's a path here um, it's kind of hard to think that that you know I was here three years ago and there was no station here, it was just basically a fence and a load of field here. It's crazy to think that, it really is. We got a service to paint coming in shortly. Uh, so yeah, there's the ramp here. Just quickly show you this, then we go on to the platform. Okay, let's go up this ramp, because I think I can see the gate open this side. I do indeed. Now that is strange. 
because the other side, the, as you can see, the gate is closed, but this side, it's open. <laughs> now, I don't get that, to be honest, but there we go. Okay, now we're on to the uh, other side. Um, this is the side for uh, trains to Paynton. And also you can change at Newton Abbott for uh, trains to Plymouth and Penzance. So yeah. Um, so yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into the video. I think there's a service of pain coming shortly. So we'll record that going out and then we'll continue the remainder of the tour. So we'll come back then. Okay guys, back in the tour video, we've got this uh, service of Payton now going out. This one is running a few minutes late. Um, well, I'm assuming due to other trains being late as well. 150 221 is up the front. Catch number at the back was very short there. Sits uh, at the back. We have seen a few trains in this uh, tour video. Uh, so yeah, going on then, uh, guys. This is a uh, side, uh, like I said, for trains to uh, Paynton and that uh, along the Riviera Line. Yeah, like I said, this gate's open, but and that gate's not. Now I'm assuming that's a different way you can come in. I don't know if that's quicker to come in that way. I think that way is quicker to come in that side. So, uh, yeah. So, this side is basically the same as the other side, really. Uh, you got your uh, big old Marsh Barton side there. Lovely and jubbly, looking uh, lovely and clean. Wonder how long that will be like that for. <coughs> Some more seat in here. Uh, you get your basic. Uh, basic thing to find on a uh, platform to be honest uh, more seat in there I like the way they've done the seat and it's four seats on each section which is good that's uh, kind of neat um, um, so yeah that's basically it really for the tour I mean yeah it's uh, not much to really uh, show now really I mean basically the same as the other side like I said guys seated basic bins more seat in there there's the next uh, train here on this side 1806 to Paynton running five minutes late good to know um, <laughs> some more information plenty of information around uh, Marsh Barton that's for a fact and here's some of the um, ticket uh, card readers shall we say I think you can buy a ticket like that I'm pretty sure how it works. I've never, never done it, but uh, yeah. Here's a ticket machine this side as well. Some more seat in this side as well. Um, there's the help information if you do need it, which I don't think you would really w would need any help or information here. Um, it's another car reader there. Some speakers there. And there's the information on the sign there, the way out from platform two. Now, obviously I didn't come in from this way onto this side. I, there's a, there's a ramp going down. You can go out this way on this side. I went up there onto that platform, but you can come in this way. This way would be quicker. I just wanted to see what this side thing was about. And like I said, it's just so strange that three years ago, I was here making a video and there was no station here. So bizarre. Um, so yeah, that's the way out and the way in this side. Uh, some more seat in there. That's in the so recycling in there. And there's this sign there. And this is the, uh, this is the first you can go this side. So there we go. That's basically it. 
I'm thinking that side is a bit more longer than this side. It looks to be that way anyway. But uh, yeah, I think either side can accommodate five carriages. So just to point that out, guys. So uh, yeah, this station can point five carriages either side. So uh, yeah. So that would do then. That's that's basically it for Marsh Barton train station. I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, tour video, guys. Uh, let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a big fat like. Um, and yeah, and uh, until next time, from uh, me here at a uh, very sunny Marsh Barton. I shall see you all soon, guys. Take care.